Hi, welcome to our kitchen. I'm Camille. And I'm Kristen with SixSisterStuff.com. Today we're going to be sharing one of our mom's best recipes, her shepherd's pie. This has consistently been one of the most popular recipes on our blog. It's also a huge hit with the kids and you're going to love it because it's so simple to make. You really can't mess this one up. No, you can't. So, <laughs> today we're going to get started with a pound of brown ground beef, a can of tomato soup, a can of minestrone soup, a can of green beans, mashed potatoes, garlic seasoning, milk, sour cream, butter, shredded cheddar cheese, and a little bit of seasoning salt. To make this casserole, we're going to actually layer all the ingredients. So let's get started on our first layer. You actually take the brown ground beef, dump it into your bowl, and then to make it so simple, you're gonna add your can of condensed tomato soup. You can just pour it straight from the can. And then also your can of condensed minestrone soup. You can use any brand. I use store brands, you can use name brands. Whatever you have on hand works perfect. I also like this soup because it adds those pops of color, a little bit of vegetables, a little bit of noodles, a little bit of everything. The next thing you're gonna add is a can of green beans that's already been drained. I prefer this French style of beans because my kids will actually eat them instead of picking them out. They're kind of incorporated into that layer. Yep. And there you go, mix it in. Okay, I think this is all mixed. So here's our bottom layer. Do you wanna put it in the yeah, pan Yeah, I can for do me? that. Okay, and I'll get started on the second layer which is the mashed potatoes. The secret to mashed potatoes is a good potato. Forget potato flakes, forget instant potatoes. These are the simplest mashed potatoes you'll ever make. I prefer this Klondike rose potato. It's got the red skins and the inside is a buttery yellow. Absolutely delicious. Um, the other thing that makes these so easy is you leave the skins on. The red skin um, is delicious. It has an amazing texture and it just adds a little pop of color to this mashed potato layer. So. Let's get mashing. To make good mashed potatoes, you of course are going to need some good milk and some good butter. I actually melted my butter in my milk just to make it super easy to make these creamy mashed potatoes. So add those in. Will you grab some sour cream? I also like to add a little bit of sour cream just to make them even more creamy. Thank you. You're welcome. Get those going. Okay, you can make these as creamy or as chunky as you want. I actually like to leave a little bit of chunks in there just for some added texture, but go whatever you like. And then, of course, we gotta add some seasonings. I just add a little bit of Johnny's seasoning salt, um, but any seasoned salt will work. And then also, Johnny's garlic spread. This adds just a little bit of garlic, a little bit of Parmesan, just takes them over the top, but any garlic powder will do, whatever you've got. Mix those in. You can smell it. Can you smell that I garlic? Can. Do you want to switch me? Yes. Let me dump this in. Okay. There we go. And your potatoes are done and ready to go on top of this casserole. So we'll add a couple of big spoonfuls here. And... Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good, huh? It hasn't even cooked yet. So we'll spread them on top. Nothing fancy. And then the last thing that you have to do is just add your cheese. You can do as much or as little cheese as you want. I just have about two cups of cheddar cheese here, all shredded and ready to go. This is my kid's favorite part. Cheesy mashed potatoes. Is there anything better than that when you're a kid? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Okay. And I think we're ready to go. So we're gonna pop this into the oven, 350 degrees for 30 minutes, and we'll see what happens. Sounds good. 30 minutes later, shepherd's pie is done, and it looks incredible. It Mom does. would be proud of this. <laughs> I think she would be very impressed. I'm gonna throw some fresh parsley on top, and mm -hmm. dinner is ready. So when you need a quick and easy casserole, your whole family is going to love, even your picky eaters. This is it, the perfect go-to meal. And with that, I'm Camille. And I'm Kristen from Six Sister Stuff. For more easy recipes and tips, just like this one, be sure to visit our website, sixsisterstuff.com. See you next time. Mm -hmm.